Hello, peeps. What's up? What's up? How's everybody doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Well, in my neck of the woods, we are doing just great, just dandy, just lovely on this beautiful day. Well, today I have for you guys some ginger snap. Mmm, that sounds good. I know. I know. And the ingredients that I used for these ginger snaps was a half a stick of butter, one cup of sugar, and I mixed all of that together and got it creamed together. Then I came in with a third cup of molasses and then I add only one egg. Yes, I did. And then I go on to add two teaspoons of baking soda, two teaspoons of brown cinnamon, and a teaspoon of ginger. Yes, you heard me right, ginger. So I also added in this recipe two cups of flour and I added a little bit at a time. Okay? Okay? So after I finished with this recipe, y'all, I put it in the fridge for about an hour. Or you can, you know, do it overnight if that's what you want. But I blended everything up together and once I finished with these cookies, I took them out of the, fr at the refrigerator. And I rolled them up in a ball with sugar. And then I put them on my pan and I baked them at 300 for about eight minutes. But this was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful recipe. If you love ginger snap, you're going to love, 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 love these cookies. Okay? Do not over mix your cookies. Do not leave them in the oven too long because you want a consistency where, you know, ginger snaps are hard cookies, but you can make them soft in the center and hard around the edges if you don't leave them in there too long. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to share me out if you like. And y'all just have a wonderful and beautiful day, okay? For this is the day that the Lord has made. 